Okay, you guys, I'm at the, uh, the car shop here getting my car fixed, as you can see. And uh, so far, they're still counting the ballots from the election. And uh, yeah, they're still counting. We don't have a winner yet. We don't have a president yet. Well, we have a president, but we don't have a winner for the election yet. Yeah, they're still counting all the thousands of mail-in uh, votes that came in. And I think uh, they said that maybe by the end of today or tomorrow, we'll have results. If you remember in the 2000 elections, you know, Al Gore did the same thing. He contested the counting and and uh, had it uh, wanted to have it counted again and uh, for some reason the media back then were more sympathetic to him for recounting than the media is now so I don't know what the difference is but anyway I don't really care about that anymore I'm just trying to live my life as best I can while waiting for my car to be fixed. I'm just going through this little trail here so I could uh, find somewhere to to sit down and relax and and uh, wait out while they while they work on my car. enjoy this day as you can see it is a beautiful bright sunny day temperature is about 76 degrees it's about 3 30 in the afternoon and just uh, try to enjoy the days while it's still warm because pretty soon it's gonna get cold right now is the transition time between uh, extreme warmth and ex extreme warmth of the summer and extreme cold of the winter and uh, this will be for about a couple weeks and better enjoy it now while, while it's here. Beautiful, bright, sunny day, nice and warm, not too, not too hot, not too cold. Enjoy it while you can. Okay, I was just informed that my car is done and it's ready for my pickup so now i am going to walk back to the service shop to pick up my car and go home because i need to uh, a lot of things i need to do when i get home i need to work on some of my helmets and i need to prepare for tomorrow i'm going to another uh sports collectible show just to see what they got and uh and that's it mainly just uh, working on my helmets there's a couple i need to paint and a couple i need to finish up and then of those couple there's a maybe one or two that i'm going to sell Let's see how much money i can get and maybe one or two that i'm going to keep for myself okay that's what i do with these helmets some of them I sell, some of them I keep. Oh, hey everyone. It's the next day and I'm walking back to the car shop. They found something else wrong with it last night. So I couldn't uh, take it home last night. So I went back home and now I'm going back to the car shop to pick it up because now they say they fixed it. And uh, usually I take a taxi or take an Uber or they pick me up with their shuttle. But today I decided to walk because, as you can see, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day here. Temperature is about 72 degrees. And it's a nice day for being out and walking. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm walking back to the car shop to pick up my car because now it really is fixed. Okay, let's go. Okay, I got lost a little bit there. I made a left when I shouldn't have made a left. I should make a left here instead of back there. 
Yeah, you know, all these streets look the same sometimes. All these residential streets look the same sometimes. There really are no markers or some kind of discernible landmarks that you can use to uh, to judge where you are because every street corner kind of looks the same. Anyway, I'm on the right track now. Here I'm making a left where I should make a left and uh, I'm back on track. Well, while we have time, I guess uh, now is a good time to talk about the election and it looks like uh, it looks like the result is pretty much inevitable. Joe Biden will be the next president. Slow Joe, President Slow Joe, will be the next president of the United States. And I guess uh, President Trump is trying to fight it as well he should. Because uh, some of the voting uh, anomalies that have occurred have been pretty suspicious. And... Uh, and all that and he's fighting it in courts but so far all the courts are uh, are uh, not uh, accepting his uh, his claims so it looks pretty inevitable now that uh, slow Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States all right I'm almost there uh, looking back now maybe I should have reconsidered taking a taxi or an uber because uh, a little further than I thought but I'm almost there so it's too late to, uh, to take an uber or taxi now but I am almost there and I'm tired and while I'm there I'm gonna get some lunch pick up my car and then drive home this time okay almost there I just hope I don't fall uh. I had to uh, cross the freeway and walk back down the embankment to get where I want to go. Well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta do what you gotta do over here. Or else you ain't gonna go nowhere. You gotta find the shortest possible route, even though it's down embankments and into alleyways and whatnot, and whatnot, and whatnot get to where you want to go as quickly and as efficiently as possible you know what I'm saying yeah all right uh, oh that was quite a walk I'm sweating it's actually kind of warm I'm sweating after that long walk but now I'm driving back home picking up my car at the shop and then driving back home I no longer have to walk that was good exercise though I'm sweating I'm sweating I'm sweating I'm sweating, I'm sweating. lots of sweat well what took an hour to walk only took five minutes to drive so I'm home now I drove home took about five minutes and when I walked over there it took about an hour so there's a bit of a difference there that's okay you get a little bit of exercise and save a little gas save a little money by walking okay everyone I'm working on another helmet this is going to be turned into a Washington Redskins uh, helmet but this one is going to be different this one is made exclusively for for selling for purchase I'm not going to be making this for myself I'm going to make this exclusively to for people to buy so hopefully somebody will buy it anyway this is the beginning it's the shell I already painted it the right color uh, Redskins uh, burgundy and now I'm going to be adding all the, the pads and decals and everything and start building it okay this is the blank canvas for this work of art I'm about to create all right first thing I'm putting on is the front bumper this is the bumper that goes right in the front of the helmet, the forehead bumper. That's what I'm doing now. So much easier to do this in the daytime outside. There's so much light. Doing it like uh, at night, indoors, it's just too dark. I can't see. 
doing it outside like this in the daytime there's so much more light it's so much easier to do it that's why i like to do it in the daytime out here in the patio all right as you can see the front bumper is on see the front bumper is on it's velcroed on there with the two uh, screw holes sticking out for the face mask. Front bumper on. And now I, put, I will put on the stripes that go on the top of the helmet like this. The stripes. Red, uh, yellow, and white stripes that go on the top of the helmet. All right, the stripes are done. See that? Stripes are perfect. Perfectly aligned, perfectly distanced. They are done. You can see it is shaping up. It is shaping up. We got the stripes and the front bumper. It is shaping up. We still got a long way to go. Okay, we still got a long way to go. And now we will put on the hardware as you can see. This is the hardware. Screws for the face masks and all that. Now as you can see, the clips are on. The buttons for the face mask are on. Four of them. See? Almost there. Well, as you can see the pads are inside now the pads are almost done all we need we need we got every, all the pads inside except for the cheek pads okay pads are done we are almost there almost there uh, and now comes the most fun but most important part sticking on the decals sticking on the decals uh, how you stick on it on there will depend on uh, on the final outcome okay so let's do this. How's that? Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's one side of the helmet. And now the other side is done. Both sides are on. As you can see, it's looking mighty good. Mighty good. See? Mighty good. Both sides are on. Both decals. We are getting there. We are getting there good. Okay, now. We are going to apply all the screaming. The face mask, as you can see. The golden red skin face mask that goes right in the front. Like this. Ooh, I can already see that it's going to look very, very good. Okay? I will put on the face mask and that will be the last major part to come on. Make sure the screws and the holes are lined up. That way. It goes in, the screws go in smoothly. And there's no problems. Hold the other side so it doesn't turn around while I'm screwing it. Woo! Looking good, looking good in the neighborhood. Look at that, we got a face mask on. It's practically complete. I just need the decals in the back, but it's practically done. Look at how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Another work of art from me. Beautiful. Oh, one more thing. The uh, cheek pads. Okay, cheek pads go right in the cheek. There you go. See, the cheek pads are in. Now it is practically complete. I need to put the decals in the back, but that's about it. Everything is practically done. See? Done. 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 I got all the decals for the helmet, for the back, warning label, NFL shield, flag, and the back bumper. And the Riddell uh, sign that goes in the back bumper. Let's do it. Alright, all the rear decals are done. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Guess what, folks? It is done! Yay! Look at that! They got all the decals in the back, the big decal up front, beautiful. The face mask, golden face mask is on. And the side. Well, oh, you know what? It's not done. I need a chin strap. Alright, I'm back with a couple of chin, strength, chin straps. I kind of have a choice to make. Uh, do you want this one? This is like a plain white chin strap. Or this one. This one is a cup style chin strap, maroon color. Oh, it's missing a clip. I don't even know if this will fit, but let's try both of them and see which one works better. But which do you prefer? Which chin strap do you like?
comment down below. Okay, now, finally, it is done. Look at how beautiful it is, huh? It is finally done. It's got the Riddell chin strap, the Riddell back bumper, all the decals in the back that you need. Nice uh, shiny burgundy helmet. Nice shiny decal, label, logo. It is done. Another masterpiece creation by me. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. My latest masterpiece. Another Washington Redskins helmet. This one I'm going to sell. You know, usually when I when I create it, I create it for the purpose of keeping for displaying in my house or somewhere. But this one I specifically built so I could sell it. And I think uh, I could sell it, I think maybe for, I could go for $300 on this one. I bought the helmet for about $60, decals for about $25, uh, chin strap was about $10, and the paint was about $10, so I would say, I would say a little less than $100 to build this helmet. So I can sell it for maybe $300 to $350. So that's good. Make a little extra change, extra cash for me. Well, everyone, welcome back to the Costco. As I told you before, I don't really like coming here, but I have to come here. It's one of those necessary evils in life. Going to the Costco. But while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and make the best of it. And... Uh, see what I need to see and get what I need to get because I do need to get a few things like apple juice and uh, eggs and paper towels and uh, water and that's it as soon as I get those things I'm out of here well I kind of do need these batteries these uh, 2032 batteries but not that many though what is that that's a dozen I don't need a dozen I just need one how much is a dozen 12 bucks I don't know man I don't know if I need a dozen though. Probably not. I'll see if I can just find one somewhere. Or two or three. Not a dozen. I need napkins though. This kind. Alright, do we need any plates or cutlery or paper towels? T shirts? T-shirt style carry-out bag, not an actual T-shirt. How about some wine, liquor? How about some more liquor? Some beer, Miller Light, Coors Light, Vienna Lager, Guinness, Yangling, Heineken, Corona, Corona. See, they still don't have toilet uh, paper towels. A lot of toilet paper. No paper towels. I guess I'm just gonna have to go to Walmart to buy paper towels. Nothing. All right, well, here's what we need. We need some more apple juice. What do you want, this one? This one more inside? I think I'll take the one inside. That's what I like. Mott's Organic 100% Apple Juice. Take that. That's all I'll need, so I'll go ahead and uh, pay for all this stuff. Make a beeline right for the cashier. I think they have a... Uh, I think they have self-paying, you know, now at the Costco. They didn't used to, but but now they do. They do now. Yeah, they didn't used to have like a self-checkout. But now I think to expedite things further, they, they now do have a self-checkout counter here at the Costco. And I think that's where I'm gonna go to make 
do things faster because I don't want to spend any more time here than I than I should so I'm gonna check out now <laughs> 